<laughs> it's going down, bro. How you been? Oh, shit, draws, jaws, and brawl. No, it's been. <laughs> what's up with you? How you doing, man? Just chilling, bro. Chilling, bro. That's what's up. Um, That's what's up. Man, I see you've been on the road a lot, huh? Bro, it's bro, it's crazy. It's crazy what's happening. Like, if the, if the people that <clears throat> that are logged in don't know, um, I was a singer of the Cumbia Kings for a very long time, for twenty, you know, twenty five years. But right now. Um, right now, man, I, you know, we got away from cruising AB and started Proyecto Cumbia, which is that's the project, and it right. got all the original members. I'm talking about even Frankie J, like everybody is here, and so it was hard to get it off the floor. I, uh, man, blood, sweat, and tears, mo, because you know they're trying to block that shit. No shit. They're trying to block. They're trying to steal names. Like we already had three names, bro. So we had those original Kings. We had Kings One. Uh, the king, the real kings, and by the time we get to Mexico, the, the name's already took, and like you know that dude, that dude that owns the name, he goes and takes it. So it's been it's been a roller coaster, bro. We here, bro. We here. Y'all been fighting. Y'all been fighting, bro. And I'm telling you, <clears throat> this is this is my thing. I wanted to, you know, at the beginning, nobody nobody believed in it. Nobody yeah. believed in it. The, they're like, yo, you can't do that without AB, without you know. <clears throat> and I, I believed in I believed in it, bro. I, since the beginning, I knew it'll work. But you know, it took fighting with the owner of the name. You know, he was he was doing a lot of stuff. I had to go live. I had to put him out the way first. That was the first mission. Right. And then, of course, you know, you have to get the guys. All the guys that I have, they're all been faces of of Kumia King. So, you know, they come with a little bit of. They haven't been in the game for a minute. Some of them, um, you know, look. Some of them will be a little bit more diva type shit, you know what I'm saying? But you got to bring them back down and, and kind of humble them. <clears throat> uh, and not everybody's on the same page, bro. We just did that in Monterrey. Uh, Frankie J got there. You can go check it out on YouTube. Uh, it's called Proyecto Cumbia. The, we had three shows already in the, the awards. And we had uh, Arena Monterrey, which was packed, sold out pretty much. And uh, Piedras Negras, those, negatives. those are the only three we had. But man, bro, me and, that was my goal was to get there. Stadium, me and Frankie J back to back with the dancers, with the outfits, the whole shit. We conquered that. Now that's halfway. Now we gotta deal with the industry. Right. No, yeah. man, I like it. I, I like the new brand. Uh, I think it's dope. Yeah. Uh, I like the way you guys come out in the suits and you got it stamped yeah. up. Play, uh, play the whole, the whole, playing the whole part. If you like Kumia Kings. That's what we're bringing back, you know. Yeah, that's dope, man. Um, it's crazy. Uh, you, you were just at the Tejano Awards, huh? Yeah, yeah, we did the. Um, you see, the thing is, you know, you. It's crazy, Mo. I'm telling you, like, what has what was happening is the owner of the group was in cahoots with everybody because you know he has a little power over there on the other side. Right. And uh, you know, we're gonna get with the label. Uh, we got with the label. We're about to sign. Right, we're about to sign. I feel weird. Felt like they were in cahoots. Like, we're about to sign to the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was too weird, bro. We had this one guy that was uh, in the band. He was one of the singers. Uh, I won't say no names because we're already over. We ain't going to give him no clout. But, right, right, right. you know, he, from one day to the next, we're, I'm at <clears throat> war with these dudes, Mo. I'm at war Yeah. For, for, for trying to pick this up. And the dude jumps from one. He's with us for a month. We do the video. We do the, the song. Everything's ready, and he jumps shit from one day to the next. Next day, I see him with with you know the the, the guys in Pasadena. And I'm like, yo, this is the weirdest shit, bro. Like, no manhood, just jumping straight from one click to the next in the middle of the war. Yeah. So it's been a it's been a it's been a it's been a journey, bro. That's we're crazy. Doing it. Yeah, we do it. You guys, you guys are doing it, man. You're popping up everywhere, bro. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, man, you got you guys been rocking them big crowds too, boy. Yeah, we, you know, cause we're we're always on tour with with Gumia Kings for the last um <clears throat> four years. So I knew that the fans were there, but you know, it's the 2017 we started uh, the reunion tour. So I knew I was when I went back in 2017 as my solo artist to back to that. I freaked out, bro. They're still there. Now it's the kids, it's the daughters. Their daughters and the grandmas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We, we, started, we thought we started in 1997, so right. Selena passed away. Uh, that's when we, you know, a year and a half later we started it. So 
We got the abuelitas. We got the mo the mothers and the fucking the kids, bro. It's crazy. Hey man, so so talking about that, man, like. Around what around what age did you jump in the music business, bro? I started um I was at first I was the first uh in I think it was I was about 17, 18 years old. 17, 18 years old I started rapping. I was in a group called Young and Ruthless. Um that was rapping 16, 17 at parties and shit. Uh, and then at 17 years old. Uh, I started uh, in a reggae band. See, I, I'm from the. I used to be in a gang years ago, right. and uh, I had got shot when I was. I got shot when I was 17 years old, almost died. So one of the OGs, you know, knew I had talent. He, he took me out the hood every day. He'd go pick me up, take me to his to his crib, and we started a band. Uh, I was playing congas because I used to play congas. I'm from New York City, so <clears throat> my father, my my stepfather is Puerto Rican. I grew up a Puerto Rican, so. All they do is play percussions when they're partying and shit. So I grew up learning percussion. Uh, but when I, uh, when he took me out, the, you know, he would take me to go and perform and, and do stuff. We started going with the reggae. Uh, it was, I started reggae music. So we went with the Bob Marty Festival. And we're the yeah. only Mexicans at the Bob Marty Festival, bro. It was nuts. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, we did that tour. And then I started, uh, right after that, I was a DJ at a, Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do it for your front of the stage and you show some love for Star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you use the strip club DJ? Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. I used to be the strip club DJ too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's what you know what? It's crazy. That's in order to get tips, you gotta know what to play. So you gotta yeah. watch the crowd. If there's yeah. some young dudes, you can't put on no old school shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of learned, it kind of taught me how to manage a crowd, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So from there, uh yeah, we did. I did the reggae tour, and then uh, I was performing at a club, and that's when AB, AB got me. And I was 21 years old when Selena passed. Uh, AB got me from a club there. I was singing backgrounds, and uh, next thing you know, man, I'm, he calls me. Remember, we oh, had the oh, sky. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, real quick. We we got to go back to that Bob Marley. So you 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 actually opened up for Bob Marley, bro? <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't Bob Marley, but the Bob Marley Festival. Oh, okay, okay, like, yeah. It wasn't whalers or nothing, but it was a, the Bob Marty Festival. It goes around all of, it goes to H Town. Man, I think I've seen that in Austin one time. Yeah, in Austin. They go to Austin a lot. Okay, okay. So then later on, uh, uh, he, he he finds you, or how does that work? Yeah, AB, AB got me from, uh, turn this shit off. AB got me from uh, a club. I was, <clears throat> Excuse me. I was playing there in at Yucatan in Corpus, 